This is the event we've been waiting for for such a long oh time. Top Mudders, Terry Styles here. I'm amazed at how many people are here already. It's the beginning of this entire race, I guess it's called. It's a competition, but wow, it's so nice to see that so many people are here in Oxford. I've been waiting to see this for a long time. Well, the town is all transferred up. I'll tell you, there's there's signs downtown for parking and all kinds of things going. It's so much has as really changed with the whole city. It's all involved. We don't even look like we're in the same place. And I want to give a shout out to the Tough Mudder organization. Those people have been so accommodating to us and so respectful of our community. They want to make sure everything's contained right here at Koenig's Gravel, Koenig's Gravel and Stone. It doesn't look like it today, but it's right here in Oxford and everybody's excited. Downtown's excited, people are standing out on the street and it's really exciting. It is, I've never been back here, it's cool. I know a lot of people from Oxford never been back here. Stay tuned, we're gonna take you back there. We're gonna watch some great competition and it's gonna be awesome, stay tuned. We all assume that gun owners have a knowledge about gun safety, but that's not always the case. There are simple precautions that gun owners can take to make sure that their firearms don't pose a danger for our community. Proper firearm storage is the number one way to prevent tragic accidents. Use a gun lock or store your firearms in a lock safe. Gun safes are available at local retailers. Free gun locks are available at your police department. Through responsible storage, we can do our part to invest in safety. Lock it up, Oakland. Safe storage saves lives. What made you want to do that? Just to show we could do it, endurance. How'd you do? Oh, great. It was wonderful. <laughs> so what did you have to do to get through? Oh my gosh, crawl in mud and swallow some dirty, muddy water. <laughs> Panic, fear. Teamwork. Yes. Teamwork. So you help each other through. Gosh, yes. We have been doing so well. <laughs> OK, guys, what do you think about these girls making it through? Oh, it's amazing. Are you all together? Or? OK, so what makes you want to do that? I've done it, this is my second time, and uh, it's, once you do it once, it's addicting. Something about it just makes you want to come back out. It's uh, one of the most uh, challenging things I've done, so, yeah. And what do you think about it being here in Oxford? Uh, I think it's great. I think this is a great setting for this. It's very challenging. At the same time, it's very beautiful to look at. So where are you from? We are from, well, I am from Southwest Michigan, so Schoolcraft area. Kalamazoo, Michigan area. West Virginia. Woo <laughs> so what do you think about this event? Have you done it before? Yeah, it's my fourth time. Is that why you're here? Absolutely, and these girls and this big dude over here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and so what made you come over to Oxford? What do you think about it being here in Oxford? It's great. I like it here. Yep. It's nice. Like it Lots of area. It's great. Yep. And you just came through the what event? What was the mud mile. mile. So what was your key getting through? Uh, teamwork. <laughs> teamwork. <laughs> and you were supporting everybody, right? Absolutely. <laughs> I was like, go guys, go. You're good. So you think you're going to take a walk downtown when you're done, relaxed and showered and eat in the Oxford area? Uh, I was showered there, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> Shower. <laughs> Shower. I think it's they'll let you in. <laughs> Thank you! Welcome in, Mudders! I got plenty of 
got a group from Jackson here. Uh, what do you think? Did you guys all help out over oh, the, the definitely, wall? Definitely, definitely. It's definitely the best event I've ever run in. So really, is this your first rodeo? No. No. How many have you done? I've done three. Really? Well, yeah. And you guys are from Jack? Absolutely. And Dos Equis, is that your sponsor? Yeah. Really? They give you the shirts and all? They did a couple years ago. Yeah. They oh, gave really? them to so, how many have you done? Five. Five. There we go, sir. Five, yeah. Really? So you guys do this all? You do the circuit? Pretty much family. It's, oh, it's a family deal. All right, all right. Keep going. All right, guys. There you go. Families, family groups together. So I saw all of you all standing around. You had already been up and over, right? Right. You were waiting for your teammate. How'd you do? Oh, I, uh, you know, I biffed it going up just to my ankle and needed a minute, so they all kind of getting emotional. Yeah. But yeah, they all kind of rallied me up and we made it. <laughs> get it, get it! Hoorah! Hoorah! Oh, you can't do it without them. Like, I need, yeah, it's, I need my team, so. And what's your team name? Medieval. Medieval. And where are you all from? Uh, I'm from Harper Woods. Yeah. Sterling Heights, Macomb area. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever been up to Oxford before? Yeah. Yeah. Good. So what do you think about it being so close to home? Oh, it's much better. It. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the, the course is definitely harder, but um, but uh, yeah, we're uh, up to the challenge to see how it goes. Well, congratulations. You did a really good job. That was very fun to watch. Thank you. So how hard is it to get up that wall? It was hard, but it was. It feels good to do it. Yeah. And yeah, how about you? Right away. First try. But, yeah, I did get it first try, but if it weren't for people helping on the top, it'd be really tough. Oh. That's kind of what it's about, isn't it? It is. Yeah. So once you get up, we waited and um, kind of helped other people as they came up too. So now one of our other friends is trying again to see if she can get up it too. Yeah, we saw you coaching her. Where are you folks from? Um, Reading, Michigan. Okay. Reading. Reading, way down here. Oh, there you go. She got her map out. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Thanks. There we go. They're gonna make that wall. This is our Oxford group. We found them. Ah, oh, thank you. Anyway, well, can this is Candy. You got this group together. You used to work out right next to OCT. Susan did. Hi. Yeah, this is our uh, Building Your Temple CrossFitting Monarchs team. Yeah. It's so much muddier than the than the Legacy Center. Yeah, but we like it dirty. We like yeah. it dirty. Yeah. Now, is this our first uh, first shot thing? This is my second one. Everybody else, this is their first time out. Yep. Yep. And how many people are from Oxford? We have 30. Oh, all, all of us. And hey, Chris. <laughs> Yeah, we, we know Chris. You got some peanuts, buddy? No, not yet. <laughs> At the end. Not and beer. And beer. There we go. Awesome. Not We're going to try to... How will we keep track of you? Uh, uh, you you got to try to keep up. You got to keep up? Yep, do you yep. think we can do it? You might yeah. get a little muddy, but you can do it. Yeah. Well, I'm not going through that. far the hardest event we've ever covered. We got to run with this team. The, the, the trail doesn't follow. We don't know the shortcuts. Dan and I are exhausted. I could only imagine how these guys are. Oh boy. Oh, so close. So close. Man, that is the best so far from the young ladies. And they are dropping like flies. We have another Oxford, uh, blah, blah, excuse me again, another Oxford resident, you are? Dorothy Balbo. Dorothy, good job, is this your first one? It is my first one. And who's your friend? This is my friend, Drea. Hi. 
I checked her into it. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm actually from Wyandotte. <laughs> and you come all the way up here, huh? We sure did. Well, awesome. Uh, how long have how, how long have you been doing these? Oh, uh, this is my first one. This is your first. This is my first. Her second. My second. Yeah. Okay, you talked her into it. Yep. There you go. It's good time. And you run too. You probably do other athletics. I, I haven't run. I'm not a runner. <laughs> she talked me into this. We are nurses. We're NICU nurses yes. at Henry Ford Hospital. Oh, okay. Henry Ford. Okay. Well, great. Well, I think we got a lot of patience for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, good job. Thank you. All right. Thanks. There we go. Another Oxford resident. Okay, we're somewhere around the halfway point. We've been called back to the base, but we don't know how to get there. Um, we're trying, but it's been fun. We're trying to trail these people all the way through all these uh, events. And look at this one. This one is a, uh, a uh, <laughs> another hill, to, an obstacle to climb. It's amazing. 20 of these obstacles that these folks are doing. They wait in line, which kind of works out a little bit. Gives them a little time to recover, but it's, it's a 10 mile run. And then you throw these into that. It's a marathon. It's a marathon. Rockford people I got. Derek Osborne. Austin Hunsucker. Are you guys in together? Yeah. Yes, oh, we yeah. are. How big's our group? Uh, we got a group of five. We got Dave Brown and Ty Hunsucker behind us. Where are they at? Yeah, oh, they're really? They're not here yet. <laughs> well, we got quite a few groups from Oxford, I found out. Awesome. Oh, this is great. Uh, how, how, uh, how far we got left? Uh, we got about like four, four or five miles left. Oh, we're almost done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're almost there. Almost there. 20 obstacles. Awesome. Is it great? It's a good time. All good. There we go. We're glad they came to town. My first time? Yeah. Yeah. It is? It is. Oh, and what was your hardest event? Um, I don't know. I guess I'd have to say the one that would get electrocuted. We haven't done it yet, but I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> well, you know, I've talked to other people and they say this is this course has been the hardest course they've ever done, so congratulations. Oh, thanks. Yep. Have fun. Bye bye. So Mary, where are you from? Harrison, Michigan. So we just watched you come down that wall and you did it with ease. It didn't even look like it was hard for you. What's been your toughest part of the course yet? Oh gosh, probably this one right here. <laughs> this one you don't really have group work, so it's kind of on your own. Is this your team? Yeah. How's it been so far? It's been awesome. Like, I mean, I expected my brothers to help me, <laughs> um, but how Everyone is working together. It's just so cool. Even people that aren't from your group, right? Yeah, everyone's just helping everyone. It doesn't matter. It's just like we, you get to an obstacle and everyone's pushing everyone over and it's really cool. Push, pull, whatever you can grab. <laughs> Nobody gets offended. And you're all from Harrison? Yep, yes, yes ma'am. Is this your first mutter? Yes. First. Well, congratulations, you guys. You. What do you think about it being in Oxford? I think it's, it's pretty cool. I love this course. It's an application course. for me. Um, for me, it was only 45 minutes from where I currently live. 
So I'm hearing from other people that this is one of the hardest courses they've ever done. So be proud of yourself. <laughs> and not just people from your own team. What does it take to get your team through and why is it that you're stopping to help everybody else? Because it's the right thing to do and we're all in this together. It's a tough modder, it's a team effort. You want 110, four beats straight right here. Four beats straight, that's the motto. You're almost done, right? Home stretch right now. Have you done this on every single uh, event? You've yep. helped everybody out? Try to the best I can, but I can't do it without my team. Do you know? Do you know that they filmed the Batman Superman movie right here? Oh, did they? You are the essence of that. Oh, thank you. That's All right, I got a couple folks just come to. What is the name of this obstacle? The birth canal, something uh, like that. I don't know. Birth canal. How was it? It was hard. How long did it take you to get through? Um, a few seconds. <laughs> it was a it was world record quality. I hear it gets a little. Does it get a little bit tougher as you go through it? Absolutely. Yeah, you get fatigued and you got a little energy and that's where you're at. You just got to pull through though. Is there more water at the end though? I hope so because yeah. I could use a little dusting off here. <laughs> where are you folks from? Huntington Woods. Lake Orion. Lake, hey, Lake Orion. Okay, we'll talk slow for you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little rivalry here at Oxford with Lake Orion. Thank you guys for coming to Oxford for the Tough Mudders. people from Oxford or I haven't I think Rob got a lot of people from Oxford but I found one we have a volunteer and your name is Dennis Dennis met what made you want to volunteer and how did that happen uh, I'm a mutter I've done five of these so it was time to kind of give back and do something a little bit different so here I am so are you going to be able to run it at all today I'll be running it tomorrow okay well congratulations for volunteering and aren't we happy that it's here in Oxford yeah, yeah. the commute's a lot easier for me that's for sure just walk across the street so well thank you for volunteering <laughs> Does that hurt? <laughs> no? no? Okay. How was it? Does it hurt? No. <laughs> Congratulations! Oh, that's wonderful! How far did you have to come to get here today? Uh, not very far. 15 miles? Yeah. Oh, where are you from? Oh, Clarkston. Yay! Aren't you happy that we're having it in our area? Absolutely. That's why we joined this year. It's right down the street. <laughs> is that your first time? Yes, yes, it is. Oh, and how was that? Going through the electric... It wasn't as bad as I, wasn't thought. As bad as I thought. Were you dreading it all day? Yes. yes. <laughs> what was your hardest event? Um, the, the wall. The wall. Oh, yeah. the big curve wall. Oh, but isn't that amazing how many people help each other? Yes, yes absolutely. Teamwork. We had friends across the course, so it was really great. So are you hooked if they come back next year? Yes. Yeah, probably, yeah. And now <laughs> we want our beer. Yeah. Congratulations, go get it. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? It was a lot more than I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's been 
really hard. <laughs> it was great. Like a fibulator? <laughs> oh, just about, yeah. yeah. Oh. Except for a stopping. <laughs> stopping in my tracks. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Macomb. Macomb? Yeah. Great. Thanks. Congratulations. Sir. Out of Lansing, we're the United States Marines. Oh, are you really? We are. All of us are with the United States Marine Corps. Uh -huh. Is this tougher in basic training? I would say basic training is a little tougher, but this is pretty <laughs> tough. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to have to edit that. Thank you. <laughs> well, great. Great. Welcome to Oxford. All right. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Now, is this your first beer after the mutter? Yes, it is. Well, let, let's let's have a drink and tell me if that's the best beer you ever had. I gotta say, it does taste yes. great. <laughs> great but it does. And you? It's great, and I don't even drink beer, but it's great. <laughs> now, where are you folks from? Oxford, Michigan. Oh, there we go. Keep More Oxford that. people. All right. We have a lot of Oxford here. Well, great. You are? Uh, Jeff Pusey. This is my little brother, oh, Jennifer yeah. Jorgensen from Trenton. Oh, well, great, great. Excellent. Well, there you go, Oxford Connection here at Tough Mudders. Okay, so I want everybody in Oxford to meet Brendan Quinn. Brendan was our contact for being able to come to the Tough Mudder today. What a fabulous fabulous experience. I want to thank you for all of Oxford because we're covering a lot of it. What is the hardest part about getting this entire thing together as far as the corporation or the headquarters is concerned? Well, anytime you come into a new community, um, there's a lot you have to line up with. You know, the police needing to be on the roads, um, how are you going to bring people in, um, are you going to be able to get the vendors and the permits that you need, so there's a lot of things that you don't know. And in addition to that, the community, sometimes they're like, oh, this is going to be a lot. You know, we might have people who are inconvenienced. We might have people a little bit skeptical. So when you come in, yeah, you have to kind of demonstrate that, that you're willing to work with them and, and that you can, uh, you, you've done this before, that you, you know how it, you know, the things that you need to, to kind of fix. And, and when we came into Oxford, um, everyone was really supportive because they were excited. A lot of people knew about the event already. And uh, we worked with the supervisor, Bill Dunn, and mm -hmm. um, the chief, Mike Soul, to, to get everything lined up okay. and to ensure that people knew that there was going to be some traffic and uh, that the uh, businesses knew that they could come to us for, um, to, if they wanted to you know, operate at the event or set up a booth, sell some food, and all those kinds of things. So we met with the CVB um, and a bunch of other people, and they were very, very welcoming from the beginning when we first came here in February. Great, good. We've been talking you up for quite a while. Yeah. Now, I've been talking to participants and volunteers from the community, and everybody wants it to come back. Are we going to be hopeful? Um, I, I, I'm, I think this was a great event. I think it worked out very well here. They're trying to sign the event for 2018 in the next week or so. Okay. Um, that depends on, you know, we want the, the people on the property to want us back first sure. and foremost, but I think they've been very happy. Um, and uh, we want to ensure that we get the feedback from the community first about, you know, what, what could we do better? Do we need to structure it a different way and have, you know, lots of a little bit different before we, we get all those agreements together? But that should happen in the next uh, one or two weeks. I will say that when we moved in, we were coming from an, an area where we'd been for many years. It was fantastic, but you want to, uh, to bring a venue that has something different for mm -hmm. the people. And mm -hmm. what you have at Koenig Sand and Gravel back here, you have woods, it moves to uh, streams, it moves back into like a deserty desert kind of sure. yeah, pit area. So um, this venue offers a lot and we definitely can use it year after year after year for a different experience for the participants. I have to say a lot of them said that this is one of the harder courses that they've done Pardon? and they were excited about that. They were not um, groaning and moaning about it. They were all charged up and we were halfway through the entire course when they were telling us that. So yeah. you're doing the right thing. Uh, we, we, well, it's, it's, you know, it's supposed to be tough. We have <laughs> we have different levels of fitness who come out, mm -hmm. but this one had a, a lot more elevation than I think people usually oh, can right. get in this part of the country. Mm -hmm. Usually, um, we can get really good mud in the Midwest, but we don't get a lot of hills and, oh. and, and oh, changes. Well, you but yeah, we had that here. So we were excited when we saw this because we were like, "Are you kidding?" The first time we saw this place, like I said, we came out in February, and mm -hmm. it, then it's much more open because right. nothing's grown sure. over, and we saw we're like, "Are you kidding me?" Beautiful. You can run them up that, yeah. run them down, run them yeah. back up it. Uh, there was a lot that we, we were excited about when we first saw it, and a lot we didn't get to use. 
oh, well, that we could use, year. that we can use next yeah. year, because you can only get so much. You have to get the right mileage. So you have design teams and everything else. It's not like you just dream this up in uh, March and say we're coming in. No, they. this was uh, arranged in September of last year. Oh. That's when we used to hold our Michigan event. We've moved um, into the early summer for this, uh, for this area, but it was signed in September of last year. That was when we first found the venue and began to have contact um, uh, with, with people in the Oxford area. And then we came out in February and we just thought through it again. And then I did another visit a couple weeks ago. And then we came in about a week and a half ago. We've been building here for three weeks or so. So it, it yeah, it takes quite a bit of uh, a forethought to ensure that this goes smooth, doesn't disrupt anything, and that we build what the people expect. And I it came together pretty well, I think, for the runners. I think you did. So do you have any anticipated numbers? I know that you can't possibly tell because tomorrow is another day. Yeah. But what was your anticipated number? I would say t today, um, I think we're hitting the expectations because most people were on pre-sale that we'll have um, between runners and the spectators, family members who come out to watch for the full and a half, about 10 and a half thousand people. And um, I mean, that's way, way beyond what, what we had expected when we first signed the venue. Um, and it's pretty high for any Tough Mudder. We actually had to... Uh, uh, put a cap on the sales because we couldn't fit any more people you know with all that that we had and we haven't had to do that anywhere else so um, we'll, we'll work it out so we have definitely more space for next year now we know that this is offering something people want and they're excited about so um, we uh, hopefully next year we have the same or more well congratulations and thank you for coming into our community and we will keep in touch yeah yeah thank you for coming out I'll, I'll let you go <laughs> I will say um the, uh, the, I just want to say the trail that you have here, uh -huh. as you know, all of us oh, who put yeah. this together and are runners and, you know, and a lot of the participants here, I think that's one of the right. coolest things I've seen in any community that we've been to. And we go to a lot of communities that you support that and sustain that yeah. is amazing. And I, I love that thing. I'll I pass really, really the word on because a lot of time and effort of volunteers, again, has gone into that. And we're trying to get it to connect to other communities. So I'll yeah, pass the word it's on. It's supposed to go all the way north, right? Yes, it is. Rails to trails. Yeah. I, it's, it's just a fantastic thing. So for anyone, um, I, I just, we've been really impressed with that. And we've, we've all, not all of us, but those of us who can have tried to take a run on it. And it's been okay. incredible. Good. But well, thank you for coming. I'm glad you like our community. <laughs> take care. <laughs> thank you. Bending chain. Start to finish, we've made it. We made it to the end. Yes. And we didn't even have to do it. I did about half of it. <laughs> <laughs> I kept I had to cut courses trying to catch up with everybody. I'm exhausted, are you? Oh I am. I, I it's a happy exhaustion. It is. What a fantastic event in this community. And we didn't know how to how to film it. It's crazy. We still don't know how to do it. <laughs> But we do hope these folks come back. I oh talked to a lot of people out there, a lot of people from Oxford are here, and they were all, somebody says, we're going to some 20-something tavern. I go, 24th Street Tavern. Yes. So they're coming to our businesses, yes. Yes. and we got to get these folks back. This has been great. I've seen teachers out here. I've seen moms and dads, oh, yes. all kinds of people I know. It's awesome. And the, the neatest thing is people that don't know each other, and it's all about teamwork. They it, yeah. And they're happy people, and they're having a great time. And we're bringing all these wonderful, helpful, happy people into our community. Well, one person isn't walking away with the trophy. They're all walking away with headbands yeah. and T-shirts and, and memories. And that's what this is about. It's not about podiums. It's yeah. not about who wins. It's not about the clock. It's about the personal yeah. the personal thing that, that you get from, the, oh my from gosh. completing this. And, and Watching this, watching, and I know you've already watched because we're doing a close here, yeah. but watching this and seeing that personal strength come out of people has I just know. been Beautiful. so inspiring. Beautiful. Don't we love living in action? I do. I do. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> yeah, I will.